Welcome to Sunday on 7, Salute to Swing. You're watching LaVey Smith and her Red Hot Skillet Liquors, the number one swing band in the Bay Area. So stay with us for an entertaining half hour of swing. Throw away my troubles and all my worries are gone. Sunday on 7, Back to Swing Show. I'm Rose Gilbo, and joining me today is Eric Thomas from ABC7. Thanks for joining us today and it's helping us. It's my absolute pleasure after Listen, listening to this. Are you kidding? Are you, this is fabulous, isn't it? Well, we're going to hear so much more of this. Actually, this year is our 10th anniversary of Sunday on 7, so it's not only special but because of that, but also because of this great show we're going to have. And we've been coming to your home since 1988, mm -hmm. if you can believe that. And the 16th Annual San Francisco Jazz Festival is why we're having this show, to, you know, promote it. Absolutely. This year, the festival runs from October 29th through November 8th. It's two weeks of world-class jazz you can enjoy 
at interesting and unique locations around San Francisco. In fact, on Sunday, November 1st, you can swing your way around the bay with this band behind us. Last year, they won the BAMI for Outstanding Swing Band, and they were recently described as, quote, the finest, most genuine swing group in the city. Let's welcome LeVay Smith and her Red Hot Skillet Liquors. Yes! Swing is the thing, but it's not the only thing in this year's San Francisco Jazz Festival. To fill you in all, on all the events going on in two weeks of world-class jazz, we have the executive director of the festival joining us right now, Randall Klein, and of course Chris Siebert, who's the band leader with LaVey Smith and her Red Hot Skillet Liquors. You heard them before on the show. We'll hear them again before the end of the show. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Let's talk about the, this year's 16th annual festival. A lot of work goes into that. How's it starting off this year? Oh, it's a phenomenal festival this year. Extraordinary array of artists ranging from Al Jarreau on opening night this Thursday That's night. That's a pretty good opening night for Al Jarreau. It's a very nice way to open the festival. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're also honoring him this year. Each year we honor one artist from the festival mm -hmm. um, and he's getting a special award. Past recipients have included greats like Tony Bennett and Dizzy Gillespie. So that's a great honor for us as well. And we close the festival on November the 8th and a lot in between, all kinds of music. You're involved intimately through the whole process. How much mm -hmm. work goes into this every year? There's a lot of work. I mean, there are 14 people that work year-round uh, on this event, as well as uh, other events that we do throughout the year. Uh, tremendous amount of detail, and uh, it's, 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 it's a big operation. It's one of the biggest festivals in the country right now, mm -hmm. and it's uh, now considered by most major city newspapers as probably the best festival in the United States. So. I think people here would agree with that. Um, let's talk to Chris Siebert of LeVay Smith and her Red Hot Skillet Liquors. Uh, band, you helped from the band in 1989, correct? Right. Where'd you get the name Red Hot Skillet Liquors from? You know everybody's wondering. Ah, well, we, yeah, that's a good one. Well, there was a, uh, a chil an album of children's songs that the Smithsonian put out, and there was a band on there called Skillet Liquors from the 20s, and so we thought, well, nobody knows about that, so we'll put that on there, and Red Hot just seemed to describe the music, so we combined it. That's Mostly, what, what era do you concentrate on? I would say probably the most on the 40s, but we, we like, we try to not be too narrow in our mm -hmm. you know in what we do so sometimes we'll go all the way back to bessie smith in the 20s or some early swing stuff in the 30s and we'll jump in in the 50s as well we roam around a little bit why do you think swing is having such a resurgence here in 1998 we're almost at the new millennium probably like with a lot of things in american culture there's a little bit of a reaction and counter reaction you know i think maybe people started to get a little bit sick of techno electronic oriented music and maybe they're looking for something a little bit more human mm -hmm. certainly the dancing is a huge part mm -hmm. of it so i think people like the partner dancing it's a little different than standing you know 10 feet away from your dance partner and and that kind of thing there's a little bit more of an intimate sure. relationship there so that's probably got a lot to do with it you can cruise the bay with chris and lave smith and her red hot skillet liquors on sunday november 1st 11 a.m on the san francisco spirit and this is how you can get tickets for that cruise or any of the festival's events and performances. First of all, you can go to the San Francisco Jazz Festival store, which is located at number four Embarcadero Center, or you can call Bass Tickets at 415-776-1999, or you computer literate folks can order on the web at ticketweb.com. We'll be back with more from LaVey Smith and her Red Hot Skillet Liquors in just a minute. Welcome back. Eric and I are here with the great LaVey Smith, who's been entertaining us, and the band, the great band, with all this wonderful music. Now, when did you start in swing, and why swing? Well, I started the band in 1989, and uh, I started listening to Billie Holiday and Dinah Washington, 
and uh, we started playing in rock clubs like the Paradise Lounge and all those South of Market clubs. And people loved it. You know, they'd ask me, what kind of music is that? And, <laughs> you know, but like we would play double bills with um, No Doubt. We did one with them and with like the White Trash Debutantes. All these, you know. So, <laughs> so young people. It's not yeah. just older folks who listen. Right. We started playing for like just punk rockers and, you know, all kinds of people, actually. We, uh, in fact, right now, our, our fan base ranges from like teenagers to 70-year-olds or 80-year-olds. Who knows? <laughs> who are your favorite singers? I like Billie Holiday and Dina Washington. You sound favorite. a little bit, yeah, right? you know, you voice a little you bit. Sing. Although you Thank look you. like Deborah Padgett. <laughs> outfit. You know, uh, we want to hear some more from you as we as we end the show today, but we ought to tell America mm -hmm. where you can get a hold of LaVey and if you want to hear more from her from the Jazz Festival. If you're interested in more information about the band, you can call 415-771-2218. You can also find out where they'll be playing next by calling their very own hotline at 415-979-8797. And we're going to have to end this wonderful show, but we will end it with more music from LeVay Smith. And you, the audience, you've been so patient sitting there, and I want you to come on and join and dance, and, and Eric, I'm going to give you a lesson. You're going to give me a lesson? Yeah, I'm going to give you a lesson. Oh, my. I know how to dance. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I Sunday hope the world is ready for this. Take it away, LeVay. <laughs> Daddy, make up your mind Cause I've been waiting such a long, long time It's now, baby, or never I've been so good to you Now, baby, or never I've been so lonesome too Now, baby, or never If I mean anything to you Now, baby, or never You wasted so much time your mind now baby or never and it ain't no fault of mine it's got to be yes or no either you'll stay i go you can't leave me on the shelf you better commit yourself either you will baby or you won't find it love